Material statements are written down into a table after taking estimate of any project. This can be a table which shows quantities of materials and will give information about quantities of materials intended to be used in the project. Hey guys, I'm Isil Khan and in this video, we will be preparing a material statement for the given works or activities. As you can see, we got four types of estimation works or you can say activities. And then of course, in those we have 400 CFT concrete work, which is of course 1612 ratio, okay? And then 850 SFT, which is three by four inches thick cement plaster, and the ratio per date is one five. And then of course, 850 SFT whitewashing, and those are of course three coats. And then lastly, 1200 CFT brickwork and the cement mortar. All right, so we're gonna prepare the material statement for these guys, okay, for these four types of estimation works. All right, so I'll come directly into the solution and in the solution, if you remember, is I defined that material statement is a table in which we label all the quantities, uh, you can say all the materials quantities, okay. As you can see uh, in the first column, we got serial number and that can be one, two, three and blah, 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 okay, and so on. So at the number one, we have the item that is of course the concrete work, okay? And that is 1612. And the quantity per date, we have of course 400 CFT work, all right? And then we're gonna calculate the cement, sand, crust stone, and of course there is no brick in the PCC or concrete, no lime and uh, no gum, okay? So uh, in the project, uh, these column can be increased, okay, based on the project or activities, okay, with respect to date. So the cement bags, we're gonna do some calculation for date, okay? So uh, just look at date. The weight concrete is 400 cubic feet. We're gonna convert this into dry just by multiplying the weight concrete with a factor, and that is of course 1.54, okay? Just to convert the weight volume into dry we're gonna multiply the wet concrete with this factor, okay? But detail, I, I, I mean, uh, if you want to know this guy in detail, I have already uploaded a separate video on PCC analysis. You can watch that in the same playlist, or you can say in the playlist of quantity survey. All right, so that's gonna be the dry concrete, which is 616 cubic feet. And then of course we can calculate the cement per the same concrete work, which is 400 cubic feet. All right, so the quantity of cement can be the ratio of cement and that is known, okay, which is one divided by the sum up ratio and that is gonna be one plus six plus 12, which is of course 19, of course, okay. And then we're gonna multiply this ratio with the dry concrete, you can say, and that is 616. So we can get of course the cement per the concrete, which is of course, 32.42 cubic feet but remember we always demand and we we just bring the cement in form of bags okay from the market so we're gonna convert this cubic feet video into bags just by dividing this video by the volume of a one cement bag you can say okay and that is 1.25 cubic feet 1.25 cubic feet is the volume of a cement bag over here in Pakistan Okay, if your country's big volume is different, you can use a post date. Okay, does not matter. All right, so do a little math with this. We can get, of course, 25.94 bags. All right, and then, of course, we have the sand for the concrete, which can be the quantity of cement, and that is, of course, 32.42 cubic feet. And we're gonna multiply this quantity with the ratio of sand, and that is, of course, as you can see, which is six, okay? As you can see, the concrete ratio is one, six, 12, in which one represents the ratio of cement and six represents the ratio of sand, or fine aggregate, you can say. So we're gonna multiply the quantity of cement with six, so we can get, of course, the quantity of sand, which can be, of course, 194.53 cubic feet, or CFT. And uh, finally, per concrete, we have crust stone or coarse aggregate, you can say, and that can be the quantity of cement, which has already been calculated, times the ratio of crushed stone or coarse aggregate. And that is, of course, 12 this time. So we can get the crushed stone's quantity, which is, of course, 389 CFT. 
now we're gonna put all these videos were there in the material statement okay like the cement bags those are of course 25.94 bags and then the sand and then the crust stone and remember there is no brick no line and no uh, you can say glue or gum in the concrete work okay serial number two and it is of course the plaster work which is one ratio five so again the quantity is 850 a safety okay it is taken in square feet and then the cement and sand can be calculated for the plaster work okay and i'm gonna make little room for myself okay all right so the wet plaster can be the area plaster which is of course 850 sft times the thickness of plaster and that is known of course okay 3 by 4 inches or you can say 0.75 okay inches now as you can see 850 the that video is just in square feet okay i mean in feet and the thickness is given in inches so we're gonna divide the thickness by 12 to convert this guy into feet okay and that is going to be of course then the wet plaster which is 53.125 cft and then we're gonna convert this into dry just multi just you can say by multiplying this video um uh, with you can say 1.27 okay like we did previously for pcc or concrete work and that factor was 1.54 this time we're going to use 1.27 and again i'm going to say i have uploaded the analysis for plaster work separately on the same playlist you can watch that in order to understand these things in detail all right so we can get the dry plaster and that is 67 cft all right now we can determine the cement quantity just take the ratio of cement which is known one and we're going to divide this by the sum up ratio and that is going to be one plus five and that is six times the dry plaster and we did this just few seconds ago all right so we can get the cement or the plaster work and that is 11.25 cubic feet and again we're going to divide this by the volume of one cement bag and which is going to be of course nine bags for the plaster work and then the sand again okay we're gonna just multiply the the ratio of sand with the quantity of cement like you can say the quantity of cement that is 11.25 cubic feet times the ratio of sand are fine aggregate and that is of course five this time okay so for the plaster we can have of course 56.25 cubic feet sand so again we're gonna plug these videos over there in this statement so i mean nine bags and then 56.25 cubic feet is the sand and of course we don't have crust stone no bricks no lime no gum for the plaster work and then serial number three and that is of course the white washing okay remember three coats white wash and for this approach i'm gonna use 850 sft as the quantity and then of course we don't have cement sand crust stone and of course the brick uh, numbers okay for the white washing only we can just calculate is the is you can say is the quantity of lime and gum okay or you can say glue okay all right and for this approach i'm gonna use this table okay the lime and gum table for the 100 sft work okay we can take the coat and then we can take the lime quantity and of course the gum quantity for the unit update okay for the unit rate you can say which is uh, a 100 sft okay so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take unselect lime and i'm gonna take seven pounds as you can see in this in this table okay in the second column this is seven pound okay per three quarts because we are estimating white washing per three quarts okay or if you want to calculate this in kg of course it can be 3.3 okay you can you can take 3.3 kg or seven pounds does not matter all right so i'm gonna take seven pounds and of course this is per 100 sft okay but our work is 850 so i'm gonna multiply this ratio with it so we can get of course the lime equals 59.50 pounds lbs represents of course pounds okay 
all right and then we have the gums quantity which is going to be 0 0.25 pounds which is of course for three quarts white washing all right and that can be taken from the table which is of course per 100 SFT but our work is 850 so we can multiply this ratio with it and then if we do little mathematics with this we can get of course the gums quantity which is going to be 2.125 pounds or LBS and we're gonna plug all these videos over there in the material statement table all right and finally we have the brickwork which is of course 1200 CFT okay now in order to estimate the cement sent in number of bricks I'm gonna do little calculation over here as you can see the number of bricks can be the quantity of brick work which is of course 1200 CFT and I'm gonna multiply this video with 13.5 okay because in one CFT we use or we put 13.5 bricks just like that okay it is like you can say standard okay now if you want to calculate this thing little bit in detail you can of course just divide the total quantity or the total volume of net brick work by the volume of one brick in order to estimate or determine the number of bricks okay per date i have uploaded a separate video you can check that of course in the same playlist okay so multiply these both parameters we can get of course the number of bricks which are of course uh, 16 and 200 bricks all right that's that's good and then we have of course the dry cement mortar which can be of course 30 cft okay just the dry cement mortar can be 30 cft in 100 cft brick work but our work is of course 1200 cft so we're gonna multiply this ratio with it then of course we can get the dry cement mortar which is of course 360 cft that's so simple okay all right so once we have the cement mortar in form of dry then of course we can determine the the quantity of cement like you can say we're gonna we're gonna divide the ratio of cement and that is of course one by the sum of ratio which is of course six okay as you can see it, it is given okay where here it is given so one plus five that is of course six it means the cement quantity can be the ratio of cement which is one divided by sum of ratio and that is six times the dry cement matter and that is of course 360 cft okay just do little math with it we can get of course the cement quantity which is 60 or just divide this by the volume of one cement bag then of course we can get 48 bags okay just for the brick work which is 1200 cft okay and then we can just calculate the sand quantity which can be of course the quantity of cement and that is of course 60 cubic feet times the ratio of sand and that is of course known which is 5 okay so 60 times 5 that is going to be 300 cft sand okay all right so that's it okay we can plug those videos who are there in the in the material statement table just like that all right that's pretty amazing okay and finally this is the work and we're gonna sum all the all the materials quantities like you can say uh the total can be the quantity of cement which is of course 82 we're gonna just add all these three okay just like that which is 82.94 bags per the total project you can say and then the sand the crestone are core segregate the number of bricks the lime and the gum and this is finally the material statement that's so simple okay it was it was a in a you can say an easy calculation and that's it hey if you like these types of videos please hit that subscribe button press the bell icon and never miss an update from an engineer boy thank you dears for watching see you next time